Good evening. In our Two America series, we're showing you the America you know and the one you may not. You likely know the story of evacuees coming here to the U.S. from Afghanistan. So tonight, hear from one Afghan refugee about what his experience was like in his own words and how he's now helping new evacuees work to adjust to their lives here in Wisconsin. My name is Saeed. I came from Afghanistan 2016. Born and raised in the Beglan province of Afghanistan, Saeed Wardak's life changed forever during the war in Afghanistan. To support his family, Saeed worked as an interpreter for the United States military. My life was not stable over there after work with them. A job that quickly made him a target for the Taliban. They called me, they said like, hey, um, we know you and we know your family. If you don't quit your job, uh, you will you will be big hurts. And I knew it. If, even if I quit my job, that wouldn't be safe for me either. Um, they're, they're like animals. While waiting for his special immigration visa, Saeed went on the run. I was staying one day in one house, the next day a different house, the next time a different house. After running for nearly a year, he and his wife were granted visas, took the next flight to the U.S., and were finally able to breathe. That was feeling so good. Like when I was going to my bed, I was like, oh my God, I don't need to run anywhere. I don't need to do, I don't need to be scared of anything. Safe, but far That's from stable. Life. Saeed knew he needed help. That's when a friend told him about Catholic Charities. They helped him find a job, gave him some money for necessities, but he still needed a place to live. A process that proved to be challenging. Because I didn't have a renting history on a credit score. The company here is different. They're not giving you a house or um, apartment if you don't have a credit score. Eventually, Saeed found a place to live. But without a car, getting to work was another challenge. Because I didn't have a driving license, I uh, had a bicycle. I was riding a bicycle to work. Desperate not to be late, Saeed again started running. When I was running, there was a guy he was just passing me. When he saw me, he saw my face probably at work or something. He doesn't even know my name. He said like, hey, do you work? I said, yeah, we work together over with that place. He said, can I give you a ride? You helped me that, that in that situation, in that day, in that time, I will never forget it. Over time, Saeed saved enough money for a car, started a family, and just recently achieved a milestone in his American dream. And now I bought a house. I have my own house. I moved in last month. And I don't need to rent anything anymore. Now he's working with Catholic Charities to help new Afghan evacuees adjust to life in Wisconsin. Concepts like credit history, buying a cell phone, getting a driver's license, buying groceries are all customs he had to learn the hard way. Lessons he wants to pass on. If I cannot make it so much, I will make it a little easy for them to get through the first step easy. Because the first step, first couple months, the first year, it's not easy. It's, everything is different. Giving new refugees hope, proving to them anything is possible. In America, if you work hard, you have opportunity, you can do your business, your own business, you can do anything. It's a freedom. There's nothing for me that I, I say, oh, I cannot do that. I can do anything if I want it. Anything. After years of struggling, Saeed is now successful at his job at a local cheese factory. He's a husband, a father, a homeowner, and soon an American citizen. Saeed's wife, Sarah, just took her oath to complete her citizenship last week, and Saeed says his oath isn't far behind, ending a six-year journey that saved his life.